Dude, Fish Tank, I'm not super up to date with what's going on with Fish Tank. I haven't been really in deep with it, but here's here's what I do know. Because I was watching season one pretty avidly to the point where I think it had a negative effect on my work schedule. So I try to not repeat that this time around. So actually, I don't even think I have the season pass for the new season, but I've heard good things about it. Obviously, I, you know, I like Jet. He's been on the stream before. So big shout out to him for changing the internet with this project. I think he's, he's, he's doing, he's doing God's work, some may say. But what I do know is that there's this girl on Fish Tank named Summer and she's like kind of, I mean, she's cute but she's kind of crazy and she's been losing her mind quite a bit. So one example is uh, <laughs> she wrote like a letter to the staff of the show and uh, she read this letter to Sam uh, or sorry, Jason. Is it, oh no, it's Jebediah Gold, Gold Striker, I think this season. She read it to Jebediah Gold Striker on, on the show and he was just like totally disinterested and she just came across like a total schizo. Can you get those lights for me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, boy. You turn those lights on, actually. Okay. Sit down. Uh, you could turn the turn the lights off, but or turn the closet light on. Okay. She's so fried, man. She's so fried. Over here. In the closet. Yeah. And just stand right here okay. and just face me. Okay. Um, Maybe we have to forget. I, we might have to forgive her. I don't know. I mean, she's you know she could be the sweetie. She could be Chat's perfect sweetie. Some may say. Chat is summer your perfect sweetie. She is she your summer pie, your summer bun. Some may say. Can you help her? Um. What's up? How you doing? Could you actually stand deeper in the closet so the light sort of gets I, on your I face there? Yeah? Did you hear about the letter that I gave to Jet? Yeah, the letter that you gave to Jet. Is that? It's how this. Do you feel about that? Well, I didn't read it because oh, it's. Okay. It looks. Uh, I don't read stuff that looks like this. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't read stuff that looks like this. I sympathize. I empathize with this position. Listen, I, I love the comments. I love the comment section. You guys are funny. There's some insightful stuff in there. I actually do. Lately, I've been reading the comments quite a bit on Tom Dark. That being said, when I get a long comment, when I get like an essay, if it's more than like two sentences, I'm probably not reading it. And it's not a personal thing. It's just like, there's only so much time in the day. You know, there's only so many brain cells I have. Am, am I really going to spare them on a YouTube comment? Probably not. I also have no attention span because I'm a Zoomer, you know, and my my brain cells are just absolutely fried and so if i have to read anything that's longer than two sentences i'm probably not reading it unless it's one of my videos in which case obviously you know i have to but also obviously my dad writes all my videos so i don't even have to at this point you know shout out shout out dad love you can't wait to see you on Christmas. Thanks for writing the new video about Pokimane that's coming out. You guys may not know this. My dad's deep in the YouTube lore, okay? My dad's deep. I owe my success, all of my success to him. Every single video you see, you go to the Turkey Tom channel. Cyrax, my dad really, you know, he didn't pull any punches with Cyrax. He went deep. Dark Arts of Theo Vaughn, he went deep. Dark Side of Airsoft Fatty, he went deep. YouTube's most psychotic vegan, he went so deep on that. During that video, as you guys know, there's there's real life segments in this video where I actually hung out with him, you know, in the, in the real life. This is actually not even me. This is actually my dad. And we we did we did VFX work after to make to make to make me superimposed over him. So with that being said, thank you, Dad, for enlightening me as to fish tank. My dad's the only reason I know about this stuff. My dad just spends all day on the computer. I, it's kind of like melodramatic. Okay. Well, do you wanna just read it? Oh, loud to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Probably louder because I don't think there's a microphone in the closet. So Dude, I don't I don't know. There's just there's just something about her. I don't know. There's just, there's just some, there's just something. There's just, there's just, some, there's just some, I don't know. There's just, look, look, I'm only, I'm only a man. I'm only a boy. There's just something, okay? You might have to but yell it kind of. a few things that might spoil something in the show. Well, don't read, uh. Make a point to it. This, the, okay, the point yeah, about I, that, you don't have to read okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. I said. Should I look at the camera when I'm talking or at you? Probably, yeah. Okay. No, look at look at me. Look at me, Summer. Look at me when you're talking, okay? You don't have That's to, the best way to get attention. You don't have to answer, but... Probably louder. Sorry, I feel like I might cry and my voice might shake, but I will okay. try to project and be loud. Okay. Sorry, She's I so cry. It's so cringe. Okay. All right. There's something um, so wrong with her. You don't have she to... never should have come in this house. She never should have agreed to be on this show. She just she just couldn't handle it. But can she handle me? Now presenting questions for Vance or staff from Summer. In your opinion... Shama Lama Ding Dong! Why Shama Lama Ding Dong? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I missed where that came from. Why Shama Lama Ding Dong? Now presenting questions for Vance or staff from Summer. In your opinion, if you have one... This show is crazy. Do you think it was irresponsible for me to apply as a random XD. knowing now the extent of my mental illness? By that I mean, if you as a casting director 
saw the extent of my habits, crying, panic attacks, etc. Would you have not picked me for the show? I'd pick you for my show. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, I, I need to calm down. I need to calm. I'm sorry. Listen, it's just like there's just something. There's just some, there's just there's just something between us. I feel but between me and the computer screen. I'm sorry. We need to just enough. Enough. I'm sorry. I'm I'm going too wild. Okay, I haven't jerked off in a week. Is it more than you guys bargained for? If that makes sense. Also, I would like to. Is that the end of the first question? Yeah. It's okay. So long. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, what's her nickname? Summerlama. Oh, Summerlama Ding Dong. I understand. Because Summer. Okay, I understand now. I understand. I understand. Do you need to... Are you okay to continue on the show? I absolutely am, but I'm worried that you guys don't do think you, I am. Do you need to go to a mental hospital? I really don't. Okay. Do you guys yes, think you do. that I do, though? It's called my... I mean, I don't... Whatever. Apartment. No, I'm it's, not a go to the mental hospital. hospital. Get your help. Do you need and then, to go to a mental hospital? Or do you need to leave no, the show, don't, though? Don't. Don't. No. Not at all. Are Not you sure? Opinion. I'm absolutely positive, 100%. Okay. And I would do anything to prove it to you, dude. Like, I want to be on the show more than anything. Okay, dokie. Like, I would literally do His anything. reactions are so uninterested that he doesn't, he doesn't care at all. Maybe he's dealt with some, some mentally ill girls. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I just want to be here. What is wrong with her? <laughs> Why is she crying? Are you, are you uh, planning on harming yourself? No, I promise I would never harm myself on this show because I know it would get you on the show? in serious trouble. Dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe I already know her. I don't Damn. want people to see me harming myself ever. All I've done right. it in the past, but I don't want to do that anymore. That's Hey, self improvement, dude. She got she got fixed. Okay. For any reason. I promise. Alright, well if you I'm feel sorry, if really you feel bad. that your health if you feel that your health is in uh, jeopardy, you need to go what down she to the I think she's just one of these always crying types, to be honest with you. I think she's just always crying. Tell the staff that you need to go home, okay? Okay. I promise I haven't ever felt like that yet though. Alright. Well whatever. What's the next thing you had there? Whatever. All right, whatever. This is your Christmas list for Santa Claus, right? <laughs> no. Oh, no. I was just schizo-writing. Uh-huh. <laughs> also, I would like to explain my strategy more to one of you because I don't know if it's too clear yet, and I don't want to confuse y'all. I think I have been confusing y'all so far. That's I don't the think one. they. I don't think they care. Okay, can I read the next one? Sure. Also, have my habits gotten the show? I don't think you're confusing anybody, though. Okay, I think really? they just, yeah, they just go, oh, she's crying. Yeah. Well, I mean with, like, my status as a contestant. Okay. Like, the strategy behind... Yeah, I mean, that's up to you, whatever. I don't think there's a lot of strategy going on. I think she's just mentally ill and needs, she needs help or something. She needs someone to, to help her very badly. And she just, she just shouldn't be on the show. Okay. What's the next thing? Um, also, have my habits gotten the show in any hot water? Like, I don't want to give you a bad reputation if it looks really bad. Finally, I would like to tell you not to go soft on me, please. Just because my reactions are intense, please don't worry so much, because it's honestly normal for me to act this way. If you go too soft on me, the audience will notice, but that I mean... Please don't be scared to go hard on me just because I'm emotionally unstable. People watching might say that you are coddling me, I mean. As a final note, I hope I haven't been worrying your staff or stressing them out too badly. I may just need a little bit of guidance when I get in that state of mind. Maybe a sit down. This is the th I mean, it's redundant to even say this because I think she, she's probably off the show soon. But saying she needs guidance is like you're on a reality show. You're not there for guidance. You're there to be, if anything, I mean, you're on Fish Tank. You're there to be messed with. You're there to be mentally tortured. If you can't deal with that, you probably shouldn't be on the show at all. Uh -huh. And I said thank you for everything. I sincerely mean it when I tell you this was my biggest dream and i wouldn't want to be anywhere else as crazy as that sounds keep on keeping on summer keep on keeping on guys guys she said keep on she's telling you guys that she knows the chat is watching she knows you know the turkey tomers the tom darkers the poop maxers are watching and she knows she wants us to keep on keeping on we do appreciate that message summer okay. and that's like the entire thing okay thank you for listening what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wait, play that again. I said thank you for everything. I sincerely mean it when I tell you this was my biggest dream and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else as crazy as that sounds. Keep on keeping on, Summer. Okay. And that's like the entire thing. Okay. Thank you for listening. What?
<laughs> Dude! Ow! Ow! Thank you for listening. What? <laughs> That's so brutal, dude. Based. Thank you for listening. All right. Um, so the, uh, info, the whole infiltrator thing? Yeah. Ignore that for a second. That's a separate thing okay. from what I'm about to talk about. Okay. There's now in the house... So I think it's pretty clear that uh, the staff have been pretty fed up with her, which is why she felt the need to write this letter. But it goes beyond that. She's also pissing off all the contestants to a crazy degree. She's been freaking out. They all like hate her. They hate her. And uh, this video should be a good explanation of why they hate her. They're just getting pissed off. And there's also this guy right here, Brian. Brian had sex on the show, which there's not a video of it because they did it in a closet, but there is a video showing that it did happen, which I'll show you guys in a second. What do you mean? What do you mean? For. And to give you guys an idea of how crazy the show is, this guy, I, I believe his name is Shinji, like the guy from uh, Evangelion, I think. That's what he's named after on the show. Maybe that's his real name. Maybe that's a real Japanese name. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not cultural. But this guy Shinji, he was a prostitute in Japan. He was a male prostitute. I don't know what the video is, but there is a video where he tells Sam about how he about how he was a male prostitute in Japan, and that was his job for a while. And he also did porn. So that's I mean that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. They got they got an all star cast this time around. What are we waiting for? Let's start doing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Start doing what? Talking about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Start doing what? Talking about it. I am talking about it. To him. I. What now? What now? It is him. I don't care. I don't care, she says as she's screaming. She's having a rough time on the show, guys. She's she's easily the most confrontational person, having an extremely tough time. Yeah, don't question me. Okay. Thank you. I like you and all, but shit. I'm gonna fucking keep it real. Oh my God, it's him. Yeah, I'm worried about. It's a TV show. We can say whatever, we can say whatever the fuck we want. We literally talked about that. So this guy, Brian, he goes to check on her and see if she's okay. Because obviously, you know, she's yelling at everyone. She's having mental breakdowns. She's crying in front of Sam, in front of everyone else on the show. She needs to chill out and she's not really doing it. And, you know, obviously if you're stuck in this house for weeks at a time, you need to have like, you know, obviously the contestants are supposed to hate each other eventually, but it's like four days in. It's not supposed to be this toxic already, but it is this toxic. A lot of that's due to summer. And this guy, Brian, tries to calm her down. Just get her to chill out, see if she's all right, see if she needs anything. It's just, it's just, she's so insufferable. Someone asks if she's okay a few times in a very calm, non-demeaning way, and immediately she just starts freaking out at him. What's your issue? What's your issue? Obviously, that's annoying. Obviously, he's gonna raise his voice when you do that. You did. You're right. Okay, so what congratulations. Congratulations. So right, let's follow the other one. Let's go. Don't scream in my face. She's screaming at all of us. The house this season, by the way, is very, very cool. It has like a 70s style. It feels like I'm watching the 70s show. That 70s show, rather. And uh, they, all the outfits also reflect this. Hey, you're 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 cool. all of us. Like <laughs> this guy, Brian, in particular, I feel like he looks like Ashton Kutcher. You're, you're pitting no, nine like, people against yourself. Like, why are nine people against it's you? It's not a strategy. This is how I genuinely feel. Okay, so like, even right, even no. if there is an infiltrator, oh God, and it's not, even if there's an infiltrator, it's not a fu My understanding is, uh, there's an infiltrator, supposedly, on the show, that's one of the cast members, and, uh, the Fish Tank team, I think, told them that, and ever since then, Summer has been freaking out about who it could be and who she can trust, and, uh, that's kind of what led to a lot of these mental breakdowns. I mean, she wasn't mentally stable before that, obviously, but this seemed to really send her into a real, a real rage, a real fit, and, uh, at this point, she has an argument with Brian, and Brian, I mean, we know what the MDE fan base is like. She tells him he has 
has a small dick and he calls her a coal burner, which is, you know, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, Brian. Cool it with the, with the anti, anti-black remarks, buddy. Why is it this upsetting that like a reality show would like want to have a bunch of crazy shit? Happening. I bet I got according to you because you're a coal burner. You're, you're, you're used to like 12 inch giant rockets. Any racist dudes who watch the show to like you? That's so embarrassing. Girl, you're, you're acting so a mess. mess. Like, you're, you're, like you're, you're embarrassing yourself. Like, this is being recorded. This is, what's crazy to me is like, like who is sending you up to this? Did you take your meds today? Like, for real? For real, did you? Like, I'm saying, I'm at, did you? Okay. No fucking shit you have to take them every day. No fucking shit. And she basically does this head in the sand thing for a while where she's just, she's sitting in that room with her, her ears plugged uh, while the other contestants just sit here and chat. I thought they stopped after season three. I thought you were their new friend. So they're just chilling. They're hanging out. They're having a chat. Here is these two people. I don't know their names. I think I knew this guy's name. I want to say it's Mike, but I can't remember. But they're having a conversation about Summer and she comes in in the middle of it, which makes her a moment that some may call awkward. I don't mean to be mean or nothing because obviously this ain't my business. I'm not trying to get involved or nothing. I was like, you know, me and Taylor in there cooking, we just hear her, I guess, getting pissed at Cole because Cole keeps saying something she don't want to hear. Because, you know, you want to know what happened? Yeah. We were talking about the infiltrator, and JC said, Are you serious? This is how you win. I don't care. It's so obvious. It, the, this is how you win. Get out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> they're also there's not even like a, a shred of being cordial or nice you know just because she's a person it's like we're fed up with you some of them a ding dong we're fed up with you we're kicking you out buddy jc was asking the cameras if we should tell them who the infiltrator is or if we should wait for production and that set her off and she lost her shit over nothing start screaming at jc screaming at cole screaming at everybody screaming at brian he screamed back she didn't like it now she's losing her shit she tries to act all nice and all sweet and all whatever. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Shut the f up. Don't f scream at people over nothing and then act like you didn't f do anything. Like, I don't give a sh what is she gonna do? I just don't like conflict. Hey, go neutral party here. I just don't like conflict. I was just trying to get the full scoop. Uh, it's a bit too early for me to get involved in shit, especially when it don't concern me. I mean, come listen, bro. No shade to you for this one, but you're on you're on fish tank. Obviously, you want a little bit of conflict to happen. So at this point, Jet comes out to talk to them. He rearranges the the sleeping stuff a little bit for them, and uh, then he asks for Chat to vote on where Summer should sleep, where she should go, because obviously, you know, with her being a little bit obnoxious, they're not too keen on her sleeping in the same rooms as them. But at the same time, there's only so many bedrooms, and so Jet's like, okay, Chat, where should Summer sleep? Should she sleep in bedroom three, or should she sleep in the doghouse? Because there is a doghouse in the in the fish tank house. Sleeping arrangements. Okay. Uh, first team, Brian and Trish. Y'all got bedroom one. So, <coughs> team Paul and JC, bedroom two. That's where you're gonna be sleeping. And here's the bad news: everyone else is sleeping in bed three. Uh, this will not just be for one night. This will be for probably several. So, move all of your belongings to the respective rooms. Bed three has a tight. Don't go yet. I know you're eager to move. Uh, bedroom has, she puts her head back down on the floor. Bedroom three has tight quarters. You're gonna have to get creative with uh, space. I'm not leaving out. my part on the couch. I've earned that part. Right, I've, earned, I've earned that part. If you need to take sure I would, but I won't sleep on there. I got you. Well, no, you're, you're sleeping in bedroom one, so we do. Oh, yeah. which one is bedroom one? Uh, bedroom one's a green room. Right there. Room. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Um, one other question though. I want to let you guys decide. You know, summer over here, it's had quite a day. Uh, yeah, she has. Where she sleep? So he asks chat where she should sleep. He calls into his radio, and Josie from season one is there and tells him that uh, an option that wasn't originally listed on the vote somehow won. Uh, Ow! Huh? Jesus, my ears. Bro. Stop! Sounds like a fax machine. Ground team to Josie. What's the results? Uh, Ow! Uh, wait, doghouse? I don't know what happened. I think someone else put up a hole, but yeah, it, it was either bedroom or 
Which one won? Doghouse did. Oh my god. Can I go now? Yeah. She goes to the doghouse, guys. She goes. Doghouse is typically a punishment, but I think tonight seems like a reward. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, for the rest of the night, chill in your designated rooms. Uh, hang out with your roommates. Uh, please quickly move your belongings to the next room. You'll be there for. More than one. So I believe today Summer actually left Fish Tank. Here we go. Summer leaves Fish Tank season two. I've never seen nobody who had what it takes to make it all the way cold. I ain't never seen no one with grit and determination like this little Wolverine right here. But y'all, summer's going on greener pastures. We're sending her on to a better reality show. We're sending her up north. To where the grass green, man. Where the grass roll. The hills roll for days, boy. Where the hills roll for days. Green grass. Warm sunshine. Beautiful farmland. That's right. Summer's going on to where the summer never ends. It don't never end where she's going. It's going to be beautiful, y'all. And she's, she's, she's crying. She's crying during this speech. I know she did it to herself, but I still feel a little bad for her. There's just some, there's just, there's just something about it. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Listen, she deserves it. She deserves to go up North. She deserves to go up North. Guess who lives up North? I don't know. Goodbye, everybody. Round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause chat. Yes, yeah, Summer. Summer little ding dong. Yeah. Yeah. Simp. Yeah, I guess so. All right, y'all. Now it's time to have some audience participate. Who gets to participate in the ice cream dinner? Who gets a big drum? Of so with that, summer's gone. That's it. No more summer. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Summer. Was she removed or did she leave? Uh, I think she was removed. I think they chose to remove her, but I think she probably didn't have a, a big objection to that, all things considered. I mean, I know she wanted to be on the show, but, you know, probably for the best she left. Now, I do have one little other fish tank tidbit. So, this guy named, uh, this guy named Brian, who was the one that was yelling at Summer, we can see a picture of him here. He's, uh, he's chilling out way deep down there <laughs> in the closet. What's he doing in the closet, guys? What's he doing in the closet over there? Here we've got, I think this is, is this Cole? I think this is his name. We got Brian down here in the closet, opening the closet door, seeing what's up. Huh, what's going on there? Oh, looks like he's got, looks like he's got a pillow in there. Okay. Oh, he's giving a thumbs up with, with someone in there. Okay. 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 What's, what's going on here, Brian? Hey, Brian. What's going on here, Brian? We do have a little clip from Brian Roadkill on Twitter. Shout out. You have to say for the camera, I consent. I consent. <laughs> And uh, I guess they they had sex. I guess I guess they they got in that closet, and you know he did the deed. He probably didn't even wrap it up. I don't know if they give them condoms on fish tank, but you know a little bit of unprotected sex never hurt anyone. I guess at least we know she consented. You have to say to the camera, I consent. I consent. <laughs> she giggles. The closet door closes, and that's it, dude. That's it. Ah. Man, fish tank is crazy. I was considering messaging Jet and asking if I could go on and uh, dress up like a psychiatrist or like a doctor and try to like give summer counseling, but obviously it seems like she's gone now. Seems like she left, so. You know what? I wish her the best up north. Has she been being silly on social media since then? Someone in chat said that she's been she's been wilding out a little bit, but I haven't seen that. I'm not privy to this information, but if someone if someone has the deets, that'll be good. That'll be real good. She was hacked. Oh, well, she deleted all her accounts. Well, Summer, you have my email. <laughs> you have my email. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No,